Would you like to learn the sectors and counterattacks of Filipino Ponantucan? Okay, keep watching Ponantucan Sectors. I'm Daniel Sullivan with the Warrior Arts Alliance channel where you can pick up all kinds of real world fighting tips and tricks. Hey, if you like this video, why not pick up my free course called The Measuring Stick and The Measuring Stick Mind Map. Get it for free at dirtyboxing.com. Hey, my friend, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share, and hey, ring the bell so you get notified every time the new video goes live. Okay, pawn and toucan sectors. So we're gonna learn the different sectors that you can parry and hit into, or in this case, parry and get head control so you can get off your knee. So he's gonna throw that right cross. And when he does, I parry it and I'm going over my own arm, what we call over the bridge and getting head control so I can drive the knee into the groin. From there, I'm gonna pull his head down, which sets him up for the uppercut and then the rear cross. Okay, pawn and toucan sectors. Let's look at sector two now. So, again, my hands are up. Sometimes I'll have this hand a little bit lower. He throws that cross, so when I parry it, this time I'm going under the bridge, under my own arm, to get that head control, so I can get off that knee, pull the head down again, and go for my uppercut and cross. Okay, pawn and toucan sectors, let's look at sector three now. So again, I'm in my stance here, he throws his right cross, I parry, but this time I'm going up the middle. So one hand in, one hand out, to get that head control, get that knee, pull the head down, get my uppercut and my cross. Okay, pawn and toucan sectors. Let's check out number four now. So this time, I'm gonna use a vertical gunting. So again, I'm gonna come under the bridge here, but this time with the vertical gunting. So when he throws that cross, I parry. I'm going into this sector, which is under the bridge, but I'm driving the elbow all the way in where it hits, getting the head control from there, getting the knee, pulling the head down, and doing the uppercut and the cross. Okay, pawn and toucan sectors. Let's check out number five now. So all the other techniques were for a nice straight punch. If the punch comes straight, you can parry and hit or grab the head in those different sectors. However, oftentimes the punch does not come straight. It's gonna come more hooking, a wider punch. So in that case, we're gonna use what we call sort of a cover and hit type of a technique to get in there. So he throws his hook this time, so I'm gonna cover with this hand, wide cover, and I get control with this hand. So from that position, I'll drive my knee in, 
pull his head down, and do my uppercut and cross. Thank you for watching Pawn and Tukin Sectors. I hope you liked it, but even if you didn't, please go ahead and leave me a comment below. Hey, don't forget to pick up my free course, The Measuring Stick and The Measuring Stick Mind Map. Get it for free at dirtyboxing.com. Hey, don't forget to subscribe so you're always up on the latest. See you next time on the Warrior Arts Alliance channel where we're all about mixed martial arts for the real world.